Welcome to Mr. Bacon Pants Plays Games. We are playing Dominion. Yes, again, a Dominion. Uh, I love this game, and it seems like you guys do too. Uh, it is one of the more watched videos, and it has a lot of likes, uh, at least for this channel. So I really appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a Dominion game. Uh, the one I'm going to try, since it kind of goes with the theme of Halloween, because it is around Halloween the week before, uh, I'm going to do Alchemy. Uh, so this is the third expansion that came out. It was a small box expansion. Uh, it includes 12 New Kingdom cards, and there's uh, strange things going on in your basement laboratories. Um, essentially, this is the least popular expansion of Dominion, and even the creator of the game um, you know, says it's the least popular expansion. There's a, there's a, a forum post on the old boardgamegeek.com uh, where he was kind of sharing what he feels would be like the progression through the expansions. Like he has a really cool post. Uh, if I find it, it, it's kind of hard for me to dig up. I bet I can find it. I'll put it in the description below. Uh, it's a really cool post by the designer. He talks about like, hey, if you like you know, these kind of, this kind of gameplay by this expansion, if you want more cards like this by that expansion. And then uh, at the very end, he has a little disclaimer. He's like, hey, you might, you might have noticed I never suggested Alchemy. Well, that's because it's probably the least popular expansion and has some weird cards in it. I personally never tried Alchemy, so I'm kind of glad we have a digital version and it's free right now in the open beta and you can join the open beta. Um, just go to Templegate Games and you will be able to find the links for their test flight, their Google Android beta, and the Steam early access. You can just, I think, buy it or download it and get in there and start playing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just kick off a game. I'm going to use all Alchemy. I think small box expansions kind of do better uh, when they're mixed with the base game. But I kind of want to see everything this thing has to offer. So we're going to do a random mix and just hope we have a good game. I mean, Dominion's a short game. So even if you have, you know, a lame kingdom set up, it doesn't matter. You just, you know, get through it and play again. All right. So let's look at all these new cards. Oh, look. And there's a, a new treasure type potion, which I think... Uh, and we'll find out as we go through the cards. I think certain cards kind of build off of this card. So we might not even buy any of these unless we have a card that says like, hey, your potions do this now. Um, so let's see. So you have the vineyard. It's worth one victory point per three action cards you have round down. You know how I love buying action cards. It's not the best strategy all the time, but this might be a card that I buy. Um, the herbalist. Uh, buy one buy plus some money, and when you discard this from play, you may put one of your treasures from play back into your deck. So this might be how you kind of get those potion cards to be more reliable um, with cards like this. You know, if you have a card that kind of gives those power. Um, and then this one is plus one card, plus one action. Reveal the top four cards of your deck. Put the coppers and potions into your hand and put the rest back into back in any order. So again, this is about getting those um, apothecary, getting these uh, potions back into your deck. The scrying pool. Oh, look, this is Halloween. That's a witch. This is Halloween. Plus one action. Each player, including you, including you, reveals the top card of their deck and either discards it or puts it back your choice. Then reveal cards from your deck until revealing one that isn't an action. Put all of those revealed cards into your hand. Interesting. Okay, that's why it's called Scrying Pool because you have to look at it before you draw it. Plus two actions. You may gain an action card costing up to five. University. What's that potion mean? I feel like I need to know. Oh, I know. You need to have two money plus a potion to buy this. Interesting. Interesting. Alchemist. Plus two cards, plus one action. When you discard this from play, if you have a potion in play, you may put this into your deck. When you discard this from play, so end of my turn, if you have a potion in play, you may put this into your deck. Interesting. I love I'm kind of liking this set. I kind of see why people hate it, though. It's a little, like, I don't know, a little weird with this, like, having to have potions. Familiar. Plus one card, plus one action. Each other player gains a curse. Ooh. Gollum. Reveal cards from your deck until you reveal two action cards other than Gollum's. 
discard the other cards and then play the action cards in either order. Interesting. Apprentice, plus one action, trash a card from your hand, plus one card per gold it costs, plus two cards if it has a potion cost. Possession. Whoa, possession. What? Okay, I would hate this. The player to your left makes an extra turn after this one. Wait, the player to your left takes an extra turn after this one in which you can see all the cards they can can and make all the decisions for them. Any cards or whatever that is, they would gain on that turn. You gain instead. Any cards of theirs that are trashed are set aside and put in their discard pot in the turn. Any okay, so essentially you just get the cards and and stuff that they get, and then uh, is that coffers or something? Is that from one of the other sets, like the coffers? Is that that symbol? But anyway, so you kind of get like the benefits of their turn. I don't know. That's kind of lame. I I really would not want that card played against me. Um, they take an extra turn, so I guess that means you don't lose your turn. But I don't know, that feels kind of aggressive. It's not even an attack card either, so you can't really, like, block it. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would ever play with, uh, a game with that card in it normally. All right, let's go ahead and play Treasure. Let's get this game started. All right, so I definitely need potions. It, oh, man, alchemy... I'm already kind of hating it, but maybe I'll like it as the game goes on. Like, to get these good cards that are cheap, I gotta buy this, like, potion that does really nothing. And then I just gotta, like, hope that I get two copper and a potion. I mean, I guess when you mix this with the base set, like, there's not so many potion cards. Um... Yeah, and so I guess I have four gold, so I guess I better buy the potion. All right, now I'm going to buy the herbalist. Oh, you know what? I didn't really look what the AI was doing. All right, so they bought a potion too. Okay, so they're 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 like in my in my wheelhouse. They're thinking like me. I'm an AI. You guys didn't know that, but I'm an AI. All right, buy some silver. All right, there's my herbalist, but he's not going to help me. I want my potion. All right, let's get more silver. Oh, he does give me another buy, though. Can I undo that? Because I might want to do something different. Nah, I'll do one more potion. Um, Should I top deck a treasure? No, I'm going to decline that because they're all cheap. Here we go, here we go, boom. Now I got the whole field. I could buy the familiar and be like the be like the computer. Plus one card, plus one action. So it does replace itself. Um, I feel like I do need to buy this. If they're gonna give me curses, I need to give him a little taste of his own medicine. So maybe I'll throw that in there. All right, so I only got four money. All right, I guess I'll just go ahead and end the buys. Do I top deck a treasure? No. Play treasures. Here we go. Man, I really like that university. You get two actions, plus you get to gain an action card costing five. But now the question is, is do, do the, the potions affect that? But I do have the apprentice. Plus one action, trash a card from your hand. Okay. Trash a card from your hand. I don't know. This one's tough. I feel like I have the potion. I gotta buy a potion card. Um, Real cards from your deck until you reveal two action cards other than golems. Discard the other cards and then play the action cards in, in the order. Yeah, let's do that. Because that kind of gets my action cards up. All right, I kind of want to play this because I feel like I would be able to buy the apprentice. But then the scrying pool. 
I don't know. I kind of, when I was reading through the cards, I felt good about university. So I want to do that. Um, yeah, so I do want to top deck a treasure, the potion. Okay, here we go, the curses. There you go. Enjoy that curse there, computer. All right, so I got four... I'm trying to think now what would be my best whoa look what they bought they bought like everything um i'm not sure why they would get this reveal tough four cards of your deck put the coppers and potions into your hand the rest back into back in any order i guess that would be interesting uh i'm gonna buy a silver though i need big money Man, that bird. There's not even a bird on the card. Come on, guys. Not even a bird on the card. All right. Uh, do I want to do gold? Oh, man. He's already buying providences. Come on, computer. All right. All right. We got to think about my turn here. So this replaces itself. So I get a card and an action. I might want to do that one last. Okay, this one gives me, get the apprentice. Does this give me an action? No, but how many actions do I have? I have two actions left. And then now we can do the golem. And trash a card from your hand. Yeah, I definitely wanna play that. I'm gonna trash this. Wait, what did it say? Trash a card from your hand, plus one card per gold it cost. Plus two cards. Of okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, wow, I really don't get any buys for that. Okay, well, at least I get the... Ooh, can I top deck? I don't think there's anything to top deck. You gotta click it, though, see if the game crashes, because we're in beta. Uh, do I have to trash? Is it not a May? Oh, my God. All right, I have one action left. Get the apprentice, play the herbalist, play treasures, get the gold, save the girl, be the hero of this kingdom. Man, I just feel like I'm just like a, a dirty mage when I play this. I'm just like making potions, getting curses. Um, um, next time I might buy a duchy. I don't know. All right, come on. I, w I want that to be, is that a bird or no, that is not a bird. Why is the familiar a crow? Change the artwork. If that's what you want it to be. All right. So I, I can reveal these in, in the order. So we'll definitely do the familiar. Oh, that's why, because the curse is the crow. All right, Temple Gate Games. You get a pass on this one. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pass I'm gonna trash a copper. Play the treasures. Hmm. Man, I was just one gold away. Is someone drinking? Oh, yes, that guy with his potions. All right, I don't get an action for him. I do get actions for this. School is in session. That's what that bell means. School is in session. All right. I am not doing my best here. All right, so finally I can buy a Providence. Get some positive points here. Uh, come on, computer. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. All right, so let's get rid of this curse. Let's play the golem. Uh, do that. We'll do the, this. Play treasures. Get a duchy. And yes, we're going to definitely top deck. Um, yeah. Boom. Boom. 
mean, I just gotta try to stay competitive. Uh, yep, top deck. Someone's drinking. Someone's at the bar. It's that little, like, clinging of glass sounds like to me. Delete the curse. My apprentice is, like, saving my butt, by the way. Like, I'm like, oh, I keep cursing myself. And the apprentice is like, I got you. Should I buy this? I think I do have a lot of action cards. Yeah, okay. Oh, finally, the curses pile is gone. All right, here we go. Buying the Providence. Province. I don't know why I said that wrong. I'm probably I'm probably like annoying people when I say it wrong. All right, get rid of the curse. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Look at that. I'm kind of catching up. I'm kind of holding my own here. All right. Computer's scared. I can tell. I can tell the computer's scared. All right, let's go ahead and buy a duchy. Let's buy the vineyard vines. Uh, yeah, I want a top deck. Um, well, I'm not in like buying action cards, so I think I'll just top deck a silver. Apprentice. Apprentice. We'll go ahead and do that. Play treasures. Come on, computer, I got you by one point. Ah, oh, come on. Look at that. Four points. Wow. Okay. You lousy computer. Yeah, there's the old vineyard. All right. And then, ah, score. What's my... Look, the vineyard's got me nine points. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I was literally robbed there. Man, that was a fun set. I I don't know. I I kind of like it. I see. I can see why people hate it. Um, you know, especially if it was like the third expansion that come out. You know, and you get it, and you're like, oh my god, they're like adding so much more complexity. Like the costs have potion costs. Um, this possession card, which I'm glad the computer didn't use. Um, you know, is a little aggressive. It's not an action card. You can't do anything about it. But everything else about this set, I kind of like. I like the golem. Um, at least, you know, I, we haven't looked at all the cards yet. I mean, there's more cards than just here. Um, but yeah, I like the Golem. I like the Familiar. Um, you know, I, I liked a lot of the cards here. And, and you can even tell uh, when it's a good kingdom because the computer and I uh, were actually buying more than just a few card types, right? So like we were kind of spreading the love around all these different cards because they were all kind of useful in their own way, especially with trying to get keep potions in your hand and like make sure those are there so you can buy these other cards. Um, I, I I don't know. I really like that. I'm not really sure 100% now why this is the least favorite expansion other than it does add like, I don't know, a little bit of complexity to the game. And uh, I do think maybe in comparison to some of the other expansions, this one's you know, seems to be the weakest one, but I, I enjoyed this. Um, I kind of enjoyed it. So yeah, this is Dominion um, Alchemy. And uh, yeah, I, I wow, I'm pleasantly surprised, everybody. So anyway, like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll keep posting Dominion videos until the end of time. Or until maybe I play through all the expansions once. I'm not sure. All right, guys. Well, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, listening, and enjoying.